Jorge Ramos also works as an anchor at Univision, which, unlike RT, has not been forced to register as a foreign agent. He also wrote the book Stranger, The Challenge of a Latino Immigrant in the Trump Era. We spoke with him just a minute ago. Jorge, thanks for joining us. I appreciate Great it. Great to be here. Thank you. So uh, the, the first and maybe most important question is, why should we let these asylum seekers, these migrants, into our country? I think the United States is becoming a hostile, even dangerous country for refugees and for immigrants. And I think we have a long tradition of being generous, of accepting other uh, immigrants from countries where they're fleeing violence and poverty and lack of democracy. I think that's precisely what the United States is. And, and at the end, Tucker, I think it's simply a matter of deciding what kind of country we, do we want to be. And it seems at this point that we are talking about only a few hundred refugees and putting it in context. Um, from the 65 million refugees that there are in the world, uh, the United States accepted only 84,000 in 2016, and with President Trump, it's going to be even less. So it's simply a matter of deciding what kind of country do we want to be. Well, we've accepted about 13 million refugees, economic refugees, who are in our country now illegally. But back up for one second. You said that this is a hostile, dangerous place for refugees. Then why would you want them to come here if the United States is so dangerous? Well, I mean, that's much, much better than if you're a father in Tegucigalpa or San Pedro Sula and you have a son and that son wants to be recruited by the, by the gangs or if they threaten your only daughter, they want to rape her, what will you do? I mean, maybe the only option for them is to come to the United States. Oh, but it's not why the only not, option. Not I mean, Mexico? look, I, I understand. Look, I love this country. I was born here. I'm not a citizen of any other country. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm for America, and I plan to stay. So I, you don't need to convince me why people would want to come. I understand why they would. Exactly. But, but in order to get here, they pass through Mexico, which is by many measures a rich country. It's got the 15th largest economy in the world. There are 30 Mexican billionaires. Got a bigger mm -hmm. economy than Saudi Arabia. They're sleeping on the street in Tijuana. Why doesn't the Mexican government help them? Well, it's first of all, they don't want to stay in Mexico. They want to come to the United States. Okay. And second of all, if you're fleeing violence, if you're fleeing gangs in, in Honduras or El Salvador or Guatemala, why would you want to go to Mexico when in the last five years more than 100,000 people were killed by drug violence. Would you would you stay in Mexico? Of course not. It doesn't make absolutely well, no. I mean, it actually, make any sense. So, so they want to come to the United States. Probably want to fly business class to Zurich and move to the Alps. But I, you know, I don't get to because it's not my country. So so, so you want to I mean, close the, the United is, States? Is that, it, that's what only, you want to do. You, you want to close the United States? I mean, that's yes, the, that's I, the kind I of want country to you want to you want to be in. I, I want to revert to what we were, which is a country of laws where people can come here, but they do so legally. We have over a million people come here every year legally. Mm -hmm. They fill out the paperwork, they get in line from around the world. And I don't know why that system and, doesn't work. And, a million and, people and here is And they want to come here legally. They want to come here legally. They're waiting in Tijuana. It's just that for two days, they haven't been allowed even to no, talk to an no, agent. They're not trying to get here uh, legally. On, on, on the, on the, no, no, that's the not US true. Side. They're, they're trying to come here and claim asylum which in effect means a court date will be set and the overwhelming majority will not show up for court and they will blend in with the other well, I mean, you're, you're 13 criminalizing million them. No, that's, that's here. not true. I mean, they're fleeing violence. They're fleeing, they're fleeing gangs. How do you know they're that? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, <laughs> because, you keep making oh, these the statements. Way, we, what do you know about them? Because we talk them? to them. Because we have reporters talking to them. Because we know who they are. We talk in Spanish every single day with them. We've been following them for 25 days. That's why we know who they are. That's why we know that they're not criminals and terrorists. And they're not rapists. That's that's why we know who they are. Did, did okay, you did you talk to why. the one who was a member of MS-13 who was caught last week, who who admitted he was a member of MS-13? What did he say when you talked to him? Well, I, I haven't talked to him. And again, oh, you if you want to criminalize him. the whole group simply I because of one person, I, I, he I don't said even he know what's your source. <laughs> but if you want to criminalize everyone, you can, you can, you can do that. Stop the word tsunami for two seconds. That's not a country that's not a country I want to It's the Mexican citizen lecturing me about what kind of country America is. I love that. But let me ask you this. One of them said he was from MS-13. That was his description of his own affiliation. You're saying I'm criminalizing him by repeating what he said about himself. So maybe what you're really engaging no. in is propaganda, not fact finding. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is that if you want to criminalize the whole caravan, which is not composed by bad hombres, and as you know, there is no invasion. If you want to criminalize the hundreds of them. Oh, there's an invasion. Of, of what 13 million people said. here illegally. I think that's an invade. Look, if 13 million illegals showed up in Mexico tomorrow and wouldn't mm -hmm. leave. 
And if people from other countries like you called anyone who wanted to make them leave a racist, I think you would call it what it is, which is an invasion. No, That's what, what I'm simply is. saying is that if they're fleeing, if they're asking for political asylum, we have to listen to them. And, and on, on the other hand... Why do we uh, have to listen to them? Well, because that's the long tradition that we've had, just to accept and protect those who are vulnerable, those who are being persecuted. Well, why doesn't Mexico, you, is it, is hold on, why doesn't Mexico with country? an economy that's, larger that's than Saudi Arabia, the protect country. them? Okay, but hold on. Why is it America's unique obligation to take in, I mean, there are 1.2 billion people in Africa. All of them yeah. have lower standards of living than Americans. Many of them are living in violent places. Mm -hmm. Do they all have a right to come here? It's a real question. Do they? Could, could it be because we are the most powerful and the richest country in the world we're and not we the want richest, to be an example of powerful. democracy Actually, and equality? All, <laughs> right. um, Circa 1955. Don't, don't you, don't, that would be China, exactly. which doesn't believe in diversity or immigration, just so you know. Well, Do they have any obligation? Are, because they are in our hemisphere and we're also responsible for that. I mean, you, they're fleeing violence, right? So why do you think they're fleeing? These drug Wait, wars but, in Central America and Mexico no, are not happening just, just because it's a, it's a TV project. No, it's happening simply because there are more than 25 million Americans who use illegal drugs, and we're also responsible for oh, everything that's so happening blame, in this we're going to blame the junkies. So Mexico sends in no, fentanyl, no, no, heroin. Yes, it does. Mexico is now the largest manufacturer of crystal meth. We used to make it ourselves. Now they make it. They kill tens of thousands of Americans every year, and those families are, are the ones are the responsible. Consumers? U.S. Oh, citizens, 25 really? so, million so U.S. citizens who, is, who are was, consumers of drugs. We're also someone, responsible for that violence. Oh, we're responsible for heroin addiction. So someone who's, re, who's taking heroin, mm -hmm. he's responsible. The junkie living on the street is responsible for these people being here. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is that uh, when you have about 25 million U.S. citizens who use illegal drugs, it has consequences in the whole hemisphere. Drugs are coming from Does Mexico Colombia and Peru, crossing Central America and Mexico. And the violence that is happening in those places is also part, is partly responsible for the consumers in this country. Oh, I understand. So 60,000 people die of drug ODs last year. Most of those drugs came from Mexico, but it's our fault. So not only do we have to drop our borders, ignore our own laws, take any poor person around the world who wants to come here, but we have to do it because we're immoral, because we're dying of drug ODs? That's the so, argument, so you really? Think, so, so you think that the U.S. and the U.S. consumers have absolutely no responsibility for the drug wars in Mexico, in Colombia, in Peru, and in Central America? They're completely linked. Absolutely, they're completely linked. And, and guess what? Not only that, how about the guns and the rifles being used by, by drug traffickers? Oh. Where do you it's, think they it's get It's funny. Those, Typically, when you're those, trying to get someone firearms. to do something nice Most for you, like taking all your poor States. people? So yes, there's responsibility. Oh, okay. And we right. in the United States, we have responsibility for the things that are what happening we? in our own Mexican hemisphere. citizen. You voted the Mexican presidential election. I just find it amazing that you can demand wait, compassion wait, wait. I'm from also, Americans. I'm also a U.S. citizen. I I'm guess, a, I'm also but you a voted citizen. in the Mexican election, so I mean, it's I not... I vote in the Mexican election, right. and I vote in, in the U.S. election. I know it's confusing for you, but that's, that's, that's what happens. And there are millions of people around the world with dual citizenship. I'm just one of them. Yeah. Well, I'm opposed to it, yeah. uh, if I can say that for I'm obvious not... reasons. But it's just okay. funny how... We have a moral obligation because we're bad we people do. to subsidize the rest because of the world. Because we're the richest and the most powerful country in the world, yeah. and many people yeah. want to come here, and we're an example of democracy and generosity. I think that's, that's, that's the right idea Talk of about America. blaming the victim. Jorge, it was great to see you. I Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you.